Hej, hej, hej. Hej, 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 hej. Friends, welcome back. I'm Camille, this is Phoenix, this is Griffin, and you're watching Miller Husky. If you want to find out more about Siberian Huskies or you just love watching videos of cute dogs on the internet, make sure you subscribe to this channel and tap that little notification bell so you never have to miss a new video. Phoenix is here for this video today. I carried her up the stairs, but she's actually doing really, really well. She got most of her stitches out on Monday. She's got a couple more that come out in two weeks when she gets her first round of follow-up x-rays, but she is using that leg. I am so excited and so proud of her, and hopefully her hair grows back soon. <laughs> Look at this. Don't shave your huskies, guys. It grows back super weird. This is only shaved because of medical reasons, but it grows back super weird. All right, people, it is fall or autumn or whatever you call it. I like fall because it's just a gateway to winter, my favorite season. <laughs> I wanted to make the backdrop a little bit more festive. As you can see, there's some festive stuff here right now. I got a lot of questions on my Instagram about where I got all of the stuff back here on the Mueller Husky set. So uh, I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour of that today. Let's go. All right, so I figure since it's a bunch of squares, let's go square by square. And then I'll talk to you about what is in that square and where that came from. So this first one is a picture of me in Phoenix. It's actually one of my favorite pictures of her. We're in New Hope, Pennsylvania. This is really close to where my parents live. And if you guys have ever been there, oh my God, Griffin, you're covering it. <laughs> if you guys have ever been to New Hope, it's a really, really cool town. It's got lots of good food. They got really good restaurants. There's places to go out. There's a theater. There's a lot of like cool naturey stuff too. There's a bunch of antique stores. Like it's just a neat town to walk around in. We took Phoenix there, I guess, several times. A lot of times when we went there with Phoenix, like we couldn't go to any of the stores, but we didn't care because she just loved walking around and having people call her beautiful. I think this photo was taken in the fall because there's a bunch of leaves on the ground. I'm wearing my hiking boots and my hiking pants and like a warm hoodie and a hat. So it's weather I like. This tiny little dog figurine, um, I actually made in my metals lab in college. I guess backstory if you care. I went to Penn State University and I majored in industrial engineering with a focus on metals. So I actually thought that I was going to work in a foundry someday and I was gonna metal cast a bunch of stuff like tiny little dogs like this. This is a, this dog is sand casted. You can see I did a whole bunch of them at the same time and you'll find, you'll find them all around the shelf here. You can see like where it broke off from the mold and I sanded it down. If any of you guys go to Penn State, the industrial engineering lab is really cool there. There are so many cool pieces of machinery and other things. Um, and now I'm just geeking out. So I'm gonna move on to the next square. Okay, so this one is just a little, I think I got this at Home Goods when I first moved out here and I had the idea to do this backdrop. I just liked it because it was a pun and you know how much I love puns, especially dog puns and anything that has to do with hot dogs because they're my second favorite food. And then this is a little pop vinyl husky that Tiny actually likes to steal from my shelf and play with. So this one actually has a little scuff on the face. Like they, both of them, I have two of them and they have a little scuff on their face because I think he likes to pretend that they're little dogs that he owns. We have a situation where Tiny comes in here and takes all of my little dog figurines and hides them somewhere in his room. This next one is a super duper old Nikon camera. I don't even know what model this is. I've never actually used it. This is a hand-me-down from Mike's grandparents. His grandma's 90 years old, so bless her. She is my hero. They gave us everything. Like they gave us, you know, everything but the film, obviously. All the lenses, like all the like attachments or whatever. And I am not like a camera expert. Like I like to sit here and make videos, but I will be the first person to tell you that I don't really know that much about cameras. So I was just like, this is really cool and really neat. And I'm gonna put it in my backdrop. <laughs> I thought it was cool because the camera I used to film all of my videos up until this point is a Nikon and here's like a super old one. <laughs> okay, so down here we have the Mueller Husky logo, which is just a picture frame. I think I got this at Home Goods also and it's got just like a little clipboard so you could change the picture out real quickly. This is actually a giant sticker that you could get at my merch store. The link is in the description box below. I thought it was funny and it's fitting obviously because it's the, the logo and uh, this is good branding right here. I'm really bad with measurements, like worst engineer ever, but I wasn't expecting the sticker to be this gigantic. So when I got it, I was like, what? 
I'm gonna have to make some smaller stickers available because this is out of control, but it worked really well for this backdrop. This next square, um, there's another one of those little tiny dog figurines here, but I also have um, a picture of Griffin. This I printed out before I went to, hey, yes, that's Griffin. I printed this out before I went to Petcon. It's like a photo of the first trip we took Griffin on. This was on the way back from Joshua Tree. So I think this is at Lake Elsinore. She hadn't had like her first like official bath at the groomer. So she's still kind of dirty from when we adopted her. You can tell right here in her neck and she's got all this like fur that needed to come out even though I had brushed her for like four hours the first day I got her. And on the back um, are some other cute little photos of Griffin and uh, my little signature right here because I was giving these out at PetCon. Then over here, I have a book of dreams which I have never actually read, but I always thought dreams were cool. I dreamed that I would have a bunch of dogs in the future and here we are. And then this is from when I first got Phoenix. I was obsessed when Phoenix was a puppy and before I even got her. This is her training manual um, in the school we went to and I read this back to front, front to back. I remember when I signed up for kindergarten for her, they were like, this is your assigned reading, you know, like before you show up. And I was the only person who did it because I was like, I don't want to get this wrong. And before I brought Phoenix home, before I even decided to adopt her, I saw this at the supermarket and I was like, oh my God, I need to get this. I just need to like learn more and more about Huskies. And there's just like a Husky on every single page. And then the, the last thing I have here is this giant encyclopedia of magical creatures. I have this here because all of my dogs have been named after either mythical or real bird of prey. So obviously a phoenix, a falcon, a griffin. All of the dogs have some sort of like literary or mythical background to them. Phoenix's full name is Phoenix Felicis, which is uh, a take on Felix Felicis from Harry Potter. And also because I really like Fox the Phoenix and that's really where the thought of that name came from. Falcon's middle name was Millennium, so Falcon Millennium after the Mill Millennium Falcon. Hi Griffin, come here. And Griffin's middle name is Dora. So it sounds like Griffin Dora. And this next square in the same vein of like, the old, old Nikon is my Polaroid camera. I got this as a Christmas present or I can't remember. Yeah, maybe a Christmas present, but I remember the first pictures I ever took of it were me, Mike, Tiny, and then Phoenix and Falcon. All right, and this next square over here is a license plate that says Hollywood. And I actually got this, I think, over 10 years ago. I went on a trip with my family, my, my mom and my dad and my sister out here to Hollywood and also like to go to Disneyland. And I just remember I always wanted to move out here and audition for movies and whatever and just basically be a superstar. So I have this here because I'm basically finally living out that dream of moving out to California. And then, hello. <laughs> and then down here by Phoenix is my This Is A Pillow pillow, which you can also get at the merch store. Good grief, Phoenix. She's like, move that so I can lay down. Are you, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so on the top of the shelf, which isn't exactly as visible in a lot of my videos, but it's here in case I want to like do a photo shoot or something, is a little customizable sign. For you guys that didn't know, I did gymnastics for a lot of my life. So one of my favorite movies is Stick It. And this is actually a line in one of those movies where <laughs> one of the girls says, dogs are people too, Haley. And it's so true. They are people too. And another pop vinyl husky that has a smudge on its face because it's tiny. I think eventually I'm gonna paint these to look like the colors of my dogs and obviously I'm gonna have to get a third one. But for now, they all look like Griffin. This leash holder or, I don't know if this is a leash holder or if it's like a stocking holder for a mantle piece, but I loved it because it said woof. I got this at Home Goods as well. I think I got these two at the same time. And this collar here is actually significant. This, it's got a little like little pink skull and crossbones on it, but this is actually the collar that Falcon came to us in. So when we adopted her from Husky House, this was the collar that she was wearing. So it's kind of special to us. She didn't wear it for most of her life. We eventually got her a red one that had her name on it and everything. This is the one that she came in. So it reminds us of her. And then of course, one of my favorite, favorite pictures of Falcon. This is just her and her element. She's just like, yay, snow, I'm gonna run. And if you look really closely at the bottom, she's kicking up like little bits of snow as she's running. And then behind here, which still has to get hung, obviously, it's a giant painting that says Camille and my sister actually painted it. And then you can see on either side of me are my guitars. So here's my acoustic guitar. 
I have my ukulele, I have a sword that I got from my Celtic festival, and then my base is all the way over there on the other side. All right, so I got some fun stuff that I was gonna use to kind of make this place a little bit more festive. What I found, these like punk rock pumpkins at Target, and like, like these are very me. So I'm gonna put them around in this little backdrop here, and it'll be Halloween-y. Black and purple one in the middle. There. All right, is that is that festive yet? I also got this sweet mask that my mom got me from New Orleans when she was there. I've never actually worn it. Let's see, where could you be? And the last thing, and this was a total surprise to me, but I came home today and this thing was in our foyer. Mike had picked it up because he saw it at CVS and he was just like, this, this is so us. It's not gonna live here. It's gonna live in our front porch, but I had to show you guys. Look at this thing. It's creepy. It's super creepy. Phoenix, is this creeping you out? <laughs> Look guys, here's where Phoenix had knee surgery. <laughs> and, then it, and then it does that weird thing. Basically every time you touch it or run by it, Is this dressy yet? She's like, can I please leave now? <laughs> this one not even phased. Oh my god! I fell over! That's freaking terrifying. All right, well that concludes the Mueller Husky set tour. Oh my god, Griff! I hope you guys liked it and let me know if you have any of the stuff that is in my backdrop here or if you think of anything else cool that I could display during my videos, that would be awesome. Hey Phoenix! Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can tap on the little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you want to see my last video, you can go here. And if you want to check out our vlog channel, you can go down there. What are you doing? And now that we're at the end of the video, it's time for This is a Pillow. All right, it's real. See you guys next week. Bye.